Hello everyone, this is Vikram and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will understand how to install Java 8, 11 and 17 on AWS EC2 instances using Amazon Coreto. We'll understand what is Amazon Coreto um, in some time. And also if you have multiple Java versions installed, we will understand how to set the default Java using alternatives utility. I have created this markdown file inside this YouTube uh, series repository under tools folder. You'll find this file install Java on AWS EC2.md. So here I have listed out all the instructions required to install Java 8, 11 and 17, including how to verify your installation and how to set the default Java in case if you have all these three versions installed. And coming to Amazon Coreto, so this is basically a multi-platform plat uh, production ready version of Open JDK that is maintained by Amazon. So this is certified as compatible with Java SE standards and uh, it is internally used by Amazon. So using Amazon Coreto, you can easily install Java 8, 11 and 17 on AMI Linux, uh, Amazon Linux 2, Windows and Mac OS as well. Okay, so in order to install Java uh, 8, 11 and 17, what we'll do is we'll create an EC2 instance first. Okay, I'm already logged into my, uh, you know, AWS management console. I'll click on EC2. Click on launch instance. And um, as, as the name to the instance, I'll just uh, simply give as Java. I'll be using Amazon Linux, that to Amazon Linux 2023 MI. Instance type is T2 micro, that is fine. And as a key pair, you can uh, select the existing one or you can quickly create a new key pair. So let me uh, create a new uh, key pair. Okay, so the key pair I'm going to uh, use as Java and uh, the private key format, uh, you know, should be dot .pem. Download this private key. Okay, so once this is downloaded, what you can do is you can click on launch instance. So that private key is required uh, if you want to SSH from your local machine. But here we will see how to connect to the instance directly from the UI itself. Okay, so the instance takes some time to go into the uh, running state. Okay, so this is the instance. Okay, now it is in the running state. Let's select the instance like this and click on connect. So we can use EC2 instance connect directly um, to connect in the browser itself. Now I'm logged into my instance. So let me become uh, root first by doing sudo su. And then I can install Java 8. So if you are on Amazon, um, um, you know, if you're using any other AMI other than Amazon Linux 2022 and later, uh, you know, you need to enable this Coreto 8. Otherwise, if you are already on Amazon Linux 2022 or 2023, you can directly install Coreto. Okay, so you can install GRE using this as JDK using this, right? So I am not interested in JDK. So let me um, install the GRE. So let's go to the instance and then uh, just paste this instruction. Uh, then it will ask you to proceed or not. Just press Y and click on enter. So it is installed. Now I can verify the installation by running Java uh, hyphen uh, version, right? So Java version, um, open JDK version is 1.8.0, right? Now what I'll do is I'll go back to this readme file and try to install Java 11. So Java 11 also comes with headless variant. So where it will uh, omit all the runtime dependencies that are needed to run uh, GUI. Basically, if you are uh, installing Java 11 on, um, you know, these instances, you don't require any graphical user interface. So you can directly go for headless. Otherwise, you can install Java, uh, you know, headful using this command. So this is basically JRE. If you want JDK, you need to go for this. Let's install J JRE only. I'll go back to the instance and then simply paste this instruction. Okay, again, press Y to install. Okay, it is now installed. Now, if I try to verify the installation by doing Java hyphen version, it is now Java 11. But we also have Java 8. So it is still, uh, it is not being shown in the output. We will see. 
how to configure the default one uh, default java installation in some time now what we'll do is we'll install java 17 so let me copy this instruction okay for the headful java 11 i'll go back to the instance and then simply run this particular command okay it is also done now if i run java hyphen version so it will now point to java 17 that we installed but what about 8 and 11 what if my project requires 8 but the current selected version is 17 so in order to understand how to you know basically uh set the set the default java okay so we need to understand this alternatives utility so basically this alternative uh, utility is used to change the default version of any application that is installed right so if you search for uh, more information on alternatives you will find a lot of other commands as well but uh, we can uh, see certain commands from the terminal itself by running alternatives hyphen uh, h for the help so it will um, allow you to list any alternatives uh, for the packages installed okay you can remove them or you can configure the default one using hyphen hyphen config so let's do you know alternatives hyphen hyphen you can note this so alternatives uh, let me first type the uh, hyphen hyphen list so it will show you the jr is currently available so jre 1.8 11 17 all these are available but the current active version is java uh, 17 okay so how do i change this by running alternatives hyphen hyphen config and then i will simply use java okay now you can see there are three versions installed okay so there is this star and then there is this plus sign okay so basically plus sign will indicate the current selection but the current selection is 17 but what is star is you can say the the best version of java uh, or the default version okay so uh, if i want to select this 1.8 version simply i need to give the selection number that is one now java 8 is selected so you can verify it by running uh, java hyphen version it is now java 8 uh, now if you go to alternatives hyphen config java you can see that that plus is now moved to this uh, version 1.8 okay but star will remain at 3 okay now what i'll do is i'll activate java 11 okay or i'll make it as default uh, by selecting the proper selection number that is 2 now if i run java hyphen version you should be able to see java 11 as the active version and then if you run uh, alternatives config java that plus symbol will now move to the second selection so this is how you use alternatives utility to configure the uh, default versions uh, of any package thank you and i'll see in the next one